Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Dustin Lukey. During a special meeting of the Common Council tonight, the city approved using $1.5 million of federal recovery money to purchase a South Side Motel, renovating it to include tiny homes known as bridge homes to help those who are unsheltered transition to a more stable situation. Now, with the Econo Lodge contract expiring April 1st, the city plan calls for the purchase of the Maple Grove Motel, renovating it to include a main support center and tiny homes sourced through an area contractor. Now, the Maple Grove Motel has a total of 26 rooms, and it's estimated that it it could host 32 people. The city presentation says it's a cost efficient longer term solution that would continue to help people find stable housing year round, noting that six people and four families have already found housing this winter. But some community members say they're concerned with what the plan would mean for the neighborhood. It's going to affect all the south side neighborhood because we're going to have a lot of people walking on the highway by the bridge by uh, Walmart and I think it's going to be the worst location I think for our community is going to be worse so I don't like it at all. Now during the meeting this evening Police Chief Sean Kudran shared that the department is averaging about 100 calls a month at the Econo Lodge but adds that most of those are what he calls trouble with party noting that the mental health issues uh, tend to happen among the unsheltered population as opposed to significant criminal activity.